Are there other companies that you're aware of similar to JITX or trying to accomplish the same thing as what JITX is working on? Yes and no. Okay. Or I should say no and yes. So specifically what JITX is doing and their approach, no. JITX is so far from my research, the only company doing what it's doing. They are truly a market of one. Which is, which is? Which is automating the tedious tasks, making an auto router that is actually works well, that doesn't take an, a bunch of time to set up. Right. Um, also, another uh, a good number of other features, but, oh, pin assignments, automatic pin assignments to where it does pin, it essentially does pin swapping for you. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to do manual pin swapping in your ECAD tools. And it takes a lot of the cognitive load out of those three particular tasks okay, and it. more. Um, other tools are other up and coming want to be competitors who will have a lot of work on their hands is uh, there's one startup that just started last year and they have a way to go. I won't name them. Okay. <laughs> and then there is, there is Sealess. They are, they're using design reuse blocks that would automatically select components for you based on the requirements you put for those, those design reuse blocks. But it's building off of what engineers have done already. It doesn't get into um, PCB routing right. essentially yet, right. but it's on the path. So right. they're, they're in that. You have Circuit Mind. Circuit Mind is doing the same, but except for digital, not analog yet. Okay. Where they would, you input your function blocks, say, hey, this is what I want. Here's an I squared. You may, if you want to specify an I squared C connection from a one module to the next, it fills in the gaps in terms of devices that would complete those functions and tasks. Okay. And it generates the schematic for you. And it's quite accurate. Um, it's based on programmatic and AI uh, approach. They don't handle analog right now. And there's not a PCB part right now. And you can't, You it doesn't auto update. You have to you have to do that in the iteration phase at the function block level before you spit out the schematic. So right now, oh, and JITX also has this adapt these modules that theoretically and practically, because I demonstrate this in one of the videos, where you change something or a design requirement at the lower base level, and that can, if you program it, you can program anything into these modules. It will back propagate and back calculate everything you put in there to choose the correct component configuration and values and do the component selection for you, whether that's at the top level or at the bottom level, and modules can hold other modules. That means once it's fully fleshed out, you have self-reconfigurable design blocks, and that's true design reuse because you're reusing the actual design work that the engineer went through instead of getting some blocks that you have to modify anyway. Uh, so currently they are a market of one. Other companies are hoping to catch up and they might they could soon, if it depends. If you haven't heard of Sierra Circuits, Sierra Circuits is a PCB manufacturer and assembler all in one, located in the Bay Area, uh, right around all the innovation that's happening. And, and Sierra Circuits is capable of building everything from start to finish, uh, from simple standard product to uber complex, HDIs, flexes, rigid flex, high speed applications, you know, anything that you can think of, we pretty much can build uh, and we do it quick. Uh, so if you need to maintain your schedule and be on time, Sierra Circuits is your vendor of choice. So the time that you've experienced JITX, uh, you would say it's useful today for engineers? It is useful today for engineers. On average, it's useful for certain things you want to do. On I would I wager in a few months' time, in about half a year, it would be at the point where people are going to start really realizing that it is, you know, it's missing some things, um, but it's most of the way there. Uh, but it would be useful. So far, I've been able to get a design done in about half the time in terms of PCB layout and routing. So that's that's amazing. And so, but if I'm a startup and I'm working on something that I really don't want to get out there, right? It's very proprietary, it's very secretive at this point. Um, is that, how does JITX and other companies like this handle uh, that aspect of it? Like just proprietary information and, you know, I don't really 
feel comfortable necessarily with my design going into the cloud, things like that. Oh, you mean proprietary information from their like users or customers, or any company right. dealing with customers in general, right. like right. especially generics? Yeah. Uh, yeah, great question. So uh, any components that are selected from their online database, there's some online thing where you could pull them from. It's just like existing ECAD software. You can get a component online. You make a local copy of it. Okay. And then you do your own, your engineering team does its own programming. Once they understand how to use the standard programming language, they do their own like programming and stuff. You do your own thing. And that code is yours. It's local to your machine. You don't share that with JITX. That's, okay, great. So that's all private local stuff. Okay, got it. Yeah. At any time, does the design get generated or is exposed to the cloud or everything's local? No. Everything's local. Everything's if they like, okay. want a cloud, I don't even know if JITX has a cloud option. So everything I've said so far is like on their online documentation. Okay. So, you know, it's just, okay. it. I don't recall seeing a cloud option. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I was just curious. Mm -hmm. That's great. So, you know, it's amazing how, you know, the future can, you know, really change the day in the life of an electrical engineer and a PC designer. So I think it's fantastic. Definitely. Thanks for sharing that. Bye.